Shalom. So today is the second episode of Divine Torah series, and so now this for this series, I mean for this episode from episode two to the bonus episode to episode eleven, I'm gonna take it to a whole new level. So this is episode two speech. Here it is. I made it also a tag mark on it. So to why the Torah. So we're gonna check on why the Torah. And again, I'm going to see it because most uh, I am I'm listing it because uh, because I can't remember everything I'm gonna say. I might mumble or or, or I might stutter. The Torah. Just like in my previous episode, episode 1, which is the link down below, by the way, is a real book from God, and inside it, you won't find any human errors, or whatsoever mistake. But although the Torah has no mistakes, inside the Torah has people who did mistakes, like Adam and Eve. We're not denying it, of course not, because uh, all people does mistakes, of course. But except for, there's four exceptional people who did not sin ever in their life. It is Benjamin, ben Benjamin son of Jacob, uh, Amram, Amram father of Moses, Yishai, or what we call in English Jesse, father of David, the other one I forgot. I'm sorry. But if the Torah really came from God, what about the other religions, Bibles? Well, people need to ask more questions like this. Well, people need to study the book and not judge a book by its cover. You get it? Well, at first, when there's a book that it's preached to be the book of book of God, then you need all you need is one tiny human error, and the whole book is destroyed. It's finished. Why? Why? Why not just not that, that? Just not just that topic. That's destroyed. That's that. Chapter destroyed. Just that verse destroyed. Just that sentence destroyed. Why the whole book? Because it's because. Oh no, I got lost. Because if a book has a mistake, it cannot be the book of God. Because God doesn't make mistakes. If we, if we call God God, we call Hashem God, then you you should you should say it's perfect. Meaning, doesn't make any mistakes. He didn't forget anything. He didn't uh, misplace something. He didn't uh, forget or whatsoever. So that's why. Now, in the Torah, such as Hosea chapter... Uh, wait. Now, in the New Testament, it has serious contradictions in the Torah. Such as Hosea chapter 11 verse 9. El anuchi velo ish. I am God, not man. God is not a man. In the Quran, also has contradictions, since Muslims believe in the Old Testament. Also believe. Muslims believe in the Torah, New Testament, and Quran. But I don't know, I don't get it. They're, they're killing Christians, but they believe in the New Testament. They're also killing Jews, but they believe in the Torah, which their Quran says that the Jews are the chosen people. Oh, these crazy lunatics. It says in the Quran, listen carefully. I don't know if to laugh or to cry of this. Maybe we cry? I guess. It says in the Quran, the uncle of Yeshu, this cursed cross fake poop guy, a cursed memory, this monster, horrible monster, forget about that guy. His uncle, who is it? says in the Torah, according to the Quran, this Yeshua's uncle, horrible man, is Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses our teacher. Moshe Rabbeinu, uncle of a horrible man, how could you imagine that? You know how they said? Because Moshe, Moses, has a sister, named Miriam, in English, Mary. They mix up two Jewish women, one very righteous, one very wicked. Very righteous, one of the very righteous is the prophetess, sister of Moshe, and the one very wicked is the one who committed adultery with a Roman soldier and conceived this horrible man into this world, Yesh Yeshke. So now the outrageous words of the two fake books, this Quran and New Testament, makes it just 
it just uh, makes your memory forget about those in the Torah. Uh, one true book in the Torah. It's the Torah. In the Torah, it has such thing as equal mathematical skips. In order to do that, you must skip count equivalent skips, just like what I did in the previous episode. Episode 1 is linked down below, by the way. I skip counted the letters in Deuteronomy chapter 48, chapter 4, verse 28, I meant, to predict a fake religion and their holy city. Holy. Just, just like thinking this is holy. Likewise, just if you don't agree with the Torah and Hashem, then don't mess with them. This is my message, message to all anti-Semites out there. This is my message. Once you go against the Jews and God, Yehudim, and Elohim wants to go against those two, Hashem and the Jews, you're destroyed in this world and for eternity. I'm saying this. You're getting destroyed. Believe me or not, that's real. Okay, believe me, okay. Don't, okay, that's still what's gonna happen. All anti-Semites out there. Because if you do, your end is not so good in this world and then the next one. There are a lot of great rabbis in the past, 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 I think. Past, but in the centuries, it's a long time ago, was a lot of great rabbis like Rambam. Rambam was Rabbi Moshe ben Maimonides. Rashi, Rabbi Shlomo Baris Chachi. Radak, Rabbi David Barchimichi. Ralba, Rabbi Levi ben Gershonides. Vilnagon, also known as Rabbi Eliyahu ben Shlomo Zalman. And the rest of the great names of the great rabbis and the great sages. But one of them, by the name of Ramban, Rabbi Moshe Bar Nachmanides, Rambam and Ramban are different, okay? They're very different. Ramban had a student by the name of Avner. While Rambam, Ramban and his students were studying, Ramban said, every person's destiny is in the parashat Ha'azinu. A uh, parasha is a Torah portion read on Shabbat. Parashat Ha'azinu is Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 1 to Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 52. But Avner thought that this was made up, so he became a heretic. Rambam visited, Ramban visited him one day and asked him, why did you become a heretic? Avner said, because you said that every destiny, every ma everyone's destiny is the parashat Ha'azinu. Ramban said so. Avner said, it's a lie. Ramban said, no. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 26, this is Parasha Hazin, okay? It says, there I will, I will scatter them to the far corners of the earth. I will make their remembrance cease among men. That's Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse uh, 16, 26. That verse, Ramban said, in that specific verse, you'll find Aleph, Skip count five letters, you get B. Skip count five letters, you get Nun. Skip count five letters, you get Resh. Aleph, Bet, Nun, Resh. Avner, your name. It is you. So Avner was scared, like very scared. So he went on a self-imposed exile, aka committed suicide. Now, the question remains, why did he just not just do teshuva, just repentance? Why just not do teshuva? Well, I don't know it. So, so that is, uh, that is episode two. Basically, basically, this is, uh, one of the biggest stories I have ever, I've ever heard in my ear. It was very, very soothing. It was very awesome. Once I heard it, I immediately checked Hazinu, Parasha Hazinu. It was there. It was there. The Chumash, I'll, I'll give you a source from the Chumash. It is in the introduction of the Chumash, of the Five Books of Moses. Uh, I'll show it to you. So, just to uh, shake you up a little bit, uh, again in my episode 1, I said Russia is attacking China. 
Russia's attacking Russia's attacking Ukraine. Yes. Basically, NATO and US are helping Ukraine. They're sending armies and tanks to Ukraine for to help them. To help Ukraine. Now, Vladimir Putin, the smart excellency of uh, the president of Russia, became angry that I don't want NATO and Ukraine to team up. You started this war. If you haven't started this war, then NATO and Ukraine wouldn't team up. If you just look at Ukraine, there, it's, it's, it makes me want to cry. They, they say that they, uh, they uh, have, uh, they have no, they don't know what to do. But all of this is in Hashem's hand. This is all, every detail is judged on Rosh Hashanah, the Day of Judgment. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Watch episode uh, three.